Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Yo, what's good Lumio Station? My name of course is Fainitax and welcome to week 5 of our top 5s here on Lumios. Last week we went ahead and discussed 5 Pokemon that I want to see get a Mega Evolution from Generation 1. So this week we're going to be going ahead and counting down my top 5 Pokemon I would like to see get a Mega Evolution from the Johto region. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, be sure to go ahead and drop a rating on today's top 5 and be sure you are subscribed to Lumios so you don't miss any of the content here. Gotta keep that train rolling. Always stop stopping by at Lumio so make sure you are subscribed we really do accept like we love the support you guys give the channel and it's absolutely insane as always all my top fives are 100% my own opinion this meaning they go in order to my liking if the Pokemon you would like to see get a mega evolution was not shown in this episode don't panic you know don't panic it was just that you like that Pokemon more than me so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into this week's top five Alright, so at the number 5 spot, kicking off the list is Gramble. This is a Pokemon I see with a lot, and I say a lot of potential. If it were to get a Mega Evolution, maybe we could see possibly a new typing for this Pokemon or a dual typing of Fairy and Fighting. Just basing it off from its design, which I felt, which I thought really looked nice. I got this picture off Google and it really, really did look nice. Um, it actually really caught my eye as soon as I saw it. So with the Mega Evolution, I would really like to see if it did get a boost in maybe attack considering it's got a nice base at 120 already. So maybe if we get it a speed boost. I think that'll work out really nice because his speed is really lacking. It's at like a base 45, which is only useful when combining it really with the Trick Room or getting this guy out basically when it's in play. But, you know, to be honest, I've never used this guy in competitive battling, but I've used Grample in a few Let's Plays. And he's really one of that Pokemon that, you know, can really use a Mega Evolution. So. I really think a Mega Evolution go well, so well with this guy. Maybe it could stay Fairy Typing, but what would you like to see? Maybe a Fairy and Dark? I think that will absolutely blow my mind if the Fairy and Dark, that'd be absolutely insane. Maybe it could work, maybe not. But that, for that reason, I think this Mega Evil would really go nicely with this Pokemon, so I decided to put him at number 5. Climbing down the ladder one spot at the number 4 is one of my favourite Johto Pokemon and it is Lantern. Lantern is an absolute great Pokemon, his overall design is greatly put together and I love the water electric typing. Lantern has a really nice stat in HP but lacks some of the attack and defence so if we were to get a Mega Evolution maybe we could see a boost in both of them. Based him off the images I found on Google, what could Mega Evolution could look like for him, they could do all sorts and I mean all sorts of different designs with this Pokemon. I feel maybe if they were to give him a Mega Evolution, maybe give him like a boot speed boost, maybe, they really could work with his design, kind of like what they did for Mega Sharpedo, and then basically made that guy look even more, like, faster. That's what I want to say, I want to emphasize them faster, because that's basically how I how I reflected on Mega, uh, Mega Sharpedo. I really liked his new design, so, you know, if you were to get a Mega Evolution, Lantern, I think a really nice, faster looking, like a slick, faster looking design. A go really nice. It would just, it would, it would really look nice. That's what I think. I think it would really look nice. But to be honest, I would keep the same typing as Water and Electric for this Pokemon because I feel it works really well. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but when it comes to top fives, I, I really like to just put everything I feel. You know, everything I like to think and make it happen and get your guys like, I don't know, your guys' judgement on that. So maybe we could keep him as water and electric, I think it worked really nice with the guy. But when it comes to Let's Plays, I've used this guy a lot and to be honest, I get so happy when I run into him. Like in a randomizer, I get so hyped, like honestly, you can hear me just like screaming in the background, it's absolutely insane. So having him on the team is a great asset to any team and it really does make him a great Pokemon. So I decided to put Lantern at number 4. Alright, let's keep this train rolling. At number 3 we have Octillery. Again, with the same Mega Evolution look as Lantern, I feel like a more speedy design would work really well with this Pokemon. Overall, his base stats are nice, but he really lacks in speed at a base 45. 
So I think a Mega Evolution in boost in speed will go so well with the speedy look and a nice boost in that. I've recently just finished a Let's Play actually um, using Octillery and he was amazing to use and he always came through and that's what I really loved about having the guy on the team like he honestly just really kept the team alive and I really love using him. He's a great Pokemon you know his design looks absolutely insane so a Mega Evolution would work so nice with this guy like you can see on the layout like a speedy kind of Pokemon so big boost in speed I think it'd look absolutely insane with him it really would it really would um, depending on its typing I maybe we could keep it water but maybe if we could have water and dark I really love that as you guys know dark is literally one of my favorite typings of Pokemon so water and dark could really give him a nice you know give him an opportunity to access moves like dark type moves like fin attack <laughs> get it fin attacks <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. But anyways, okay, I will stop right there. But maybe with this new type could work. How do you feel if he could even get like Dark Pulse? He gets like this whole new, I don't know, typing and it works so well in my opinion. Of course, he will be open to more, you know, threats. But I think it worked really nice with him. I think it would really nice. So give him access to Dark type moves. Again, it'd be really nice. But how do you guys feel about that? I really want to know on this certain Pokemon. Maybe a Dark Water type. Let me know what you think. That'd be really nice. But anyways, I decided to put Octillery up at number three. Coming down to the final two spot on the list, holding the number two spot this week is Exit 2. This needs to happen. Game Freak, seriously, this needs to happen. I would love to see what they could do with Exit 2. He would look so amazing. I really love the Mega Evolution art I found from Google that you can see on the layout. I think he honestly looks like a god. He really does, I absolutely love that design for him. And I would be so happy if his Mega Evolution turned out to look like that. I think it's great. It really is great. <laughs> Looking at Exit 2's stats, they're pretty average. Um, they're all around the same, but the, but the speed and the special attack are really nice. Like, really, really nice. They both average around 95, so it is really nice. If this wanted to get a Mega Evolution, I think they might invest into more his speed. I don't know, he's really close to having the same speed as a Galvantula. Galvantula's base speed is 108 and x 2 is at 95, so he's a really fast Pokemon. So maybe if they did give him a Mega Revolution, if they would work more into speed, I don't know. Um, it would be pretty something, I know he's already fast so they might not, but maybe give him a, like, a, a boost in special attack and something like that. I don't know what Game Freak could be plotting, I don't know, this is only my predictions. So. I think honestly giving a Mega Evolution to this Pokemon will make him great for competitive in my opinion. I've used X2 on several Let's Plays and he always comes through when I've needed him the most. He's definitely a really nice overall design Pokemon, so he definitely does deserve to be at the number 2 spot. <laughs> Alright, we have finally come to the number one spot on the list, and I'm sure you're all guessed it. It has to be the Johto starters. They all need a Mega Revolution. I couldn't fit them all on. I could have put Typhlosion for Alligator and Meganium at 1, 2, and 3. No, they all have to get a Mega Evolution. This needs to happen. Game Freak, please. All three Hoenn Pokemon got them. And if the new games are to be released, we need Jodo starters just to have the badass looking designs. I honestly, these images that I found on the internet are absolutely amazing. And if they, they turned out like that, I honestly would faint. <laughs> Get it? Okay, I need to definitely start with that. <laughs> I would really look so happy though if their Mega Evolutions were to turn out like this. Now, I don't want to base them off the stats or anything like that, but it would. But I really would love to see my favourite starter line get these Mega Evolutions. As you know, Johto is one of my favourite regions. Even when I play through Pokemon Soul, Silver Heart Gold, Silver Crystal or Gold for that matter, my childhood comes back to life because I remember playing these games so, so much. And if I could see a Typhlosion, a Meganium and a Feraligatr get a Mega Evolution, I would honestly be over the moon. I would be so so happy. I'm sure most of you could agree with me on this one. These Megas need to really happen. They do. They so so do. For the typing of the Pokemon, I don't think they will change and I wouldn't be too bothered if they didn't. Like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't literally make a big deal over it. I think keeping their, you know, their original typings would be so nice. 
because it's so OG, but getting these mega evolutions, these badass looking designs would absolutely throw me over the moon. So people can learn to accept change and others can't, but to be you know, to be honest with you, I really wouldn't mind if they just kept the, the exact same typing. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't mind at all, and I'm pretty sure you guys can agree with me that. So for that, my friends, I had to put the Jodo starters at number one on this list. Alright, there you have it guys, we've counted down the top 5 Pokemon I want to see get a Mega Evolution from the Johto region, so you guys know what is up next, we're going to be going ahead and discussing the top 5 Pokemon I want to see get a Mega Evolution from the Hoenn region, I hope that you guys are pretty excited for that, and if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to go ahead and drop some support, drop a like, it's greatly appreciated, make sure you are subscribed to Lumio Station so you don't miss out on all of the content we put up on the channel here, it is greatly great really appreciate it your support absolutely means the world to us and it's 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 over it, your support is just literally puts me over the moon like I probably said in this top five a few times but it really does throw me off how much you guys can support this it's absolutely amazing and I want to I just love you guys for that so so much so with that being said I'm Infinitax thank you so much for watching until next time guys bye